one animal in Australia can instill fear like no other. As a result, it has been hunted remorselessly. The saltwater crocodile is the world's largest reptile, an unchanged survivor from the dinosaur age. A successful predator has no need to adapt, and the crocodile is a master of its environment. The crocodile is one of the most efficient hunters in the world. Even in shallow water, they are virtually impossible to detect. Estuarine or saltwater crocodiles are found across the top of Australia, stretching as far down as the southern Queensland coast. They're highly territorial, which combined with their aggressive nature makes them dangerous and unpredictable. Females lay their eggs in mounds of vegetation by the water and defend their nests aggressively against intruders. The temperature of the rotting vegetation dictates whether males or females will develop. This croc is only a few hours old and at this age it's hardly a threat. Its tiny teeth are razor sharp and could draw blood, but its jaws are only capable of taking small fish and insects. Within a few years it'll grow to be about one and a half metres long and be transformed into one of the world's most formidable predators and one of the few that includes humans as prey. Fully grown saltwater crocodiles can reach more than seven metres and weigh more than a ton, although four to five metre specimens are more common. On land, crocodiles look bulky and awkward, but their bodies are superbly adapted for the aquatic life. A crocodile attacking from the water will seal off its windpipe with a flap of skin. This also enables them to feed underwater. They use their powerful tails to propel themselves and their hind feet are webbed.
old dominant males are intolerant of any newly matured males and will kill them or drive them out. This pecking order, plus a lack of human interference, makes for stability in crocodile populations. As adults, crocodiles have no natural predators, and they'll establish their territory in and around populated areas, often with tragic results. A search got underway for two killer crocodiles. He was he found with the arms and legs torn the off. The next His kill was bitten off in by a crocodile, Spanish. and she was gone. Rather than shooting troublesome crocs, wildlife officers have begun programs to trap and relocate them. Oh, I got him there. See the eyes now. Yeah. Using a bamboo stick with a detachable hook on a rope, the croc catches harpoon the croc and then use its instinctive role to tie it up. Yes. skin is extremely tough and the hook can be easily removed without causing any damage. Even a two metre croc like this one is an impressive sight at close hand. Like most creatures the croc has eyelids but it also has a third transparent membrane that acts like a pair of goggles so it can see underwater. It is an air-breathing reptile, even though it spends most of its life underwater, so its nostrils are placed high on its head so that it can still breathe while it's submerged. Most fatal crocodile attacks in Australia have occurred when victims have entered infested waters. Saltwater crocs can also survive in freshwater, so any warning sign should be taken seriously. Surprisingly enough, the best thing to do if you're attacked is to fight back. Large predators like crocodiles and sharks usually don't encounter animals which retaliate. So poking the eyes and under the throat may be enough to surprise and discourage them. <laughs> 